Hey guys, Adam Pratt here, and today we are going to be going over the Swanson Speed Square. How are some of the ways that you can utilize this to your advantage to work as efficient as possible? So today what I'm going to be going over are some uh, angles, you know, how to use this as a protractor to get an angle reading and what degree it is. Um, so I'm going to be showing y'all how to do that and that's what I'm going to be going over right here. So right now I'm in the process of working on this stairway trim here, going all the way up the trim that will be here on the side. I'm going to be going over that here. And what we have here is the, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to get my smaller speed square, which is just right here. Also little handy table that I made just to work a little bit more efficient. Made that in a couple hours. Uh, anyways, so what we have here, part of you know making sure we're doing things as efficient as possible is cutting it right the first time. Also saves money. Um, so do your due diligence and mark all your proper markings and you know draw it out on the wall, which you could see that I did here. But also before you cut, go ahead and put all your uh, degrees on there so that way when you do go to marking your piece of wood you can do it as quickly as possible so what you do here on a speed square to um to measure the angle that we have okay so we're trying to figure out you can see i already wrote on there a 36 degree angle i also already wrote on there what my miter cuts are going to be 27 degrees miter cut well let's see if i can try to prop this up here and i'm going to show you on the speed, Swanson Speed Square and how to figure out what the degree is, okay? So what we're gonna do, uh, so what I did first with my torpedo level, I did a plumb line here that is perfectly plumb with the torpedo, okay? First do that so that way you can, what you base your speed square on, you wanna ensure it's perfectly plumb. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the inside edge right here of the speed square, right there where I'm pointing. Take that edge, line it up on the line. That's what I'm doing here. And, oh, there's my wife and my little girl there in the background. Hi, baby girl. All right, so I got it perfectly lined up on the line and I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide this down. This is what's called the pivot point. I'm gonna slide that down here to get that right on the pivot point. And again, on the other side of my speed square, that edge lined up with the line. Not this edge, that edge, okay? I got it perfectly at the bottom. Got it perfect at the top. Right at my intersection point, I have that right there. I have it all lined up. This is perfectly plumb here, my speed square. Go over here to look at my angle. And I am right at 54 degrees. I'm at 54 degrees there. Uh, so this right here is 54, okay? The reason why I wrote 36, well, on a miter saw, cutting uh, 90 degrees, really on a miter saw, it says zero. So what you do is take 90 minus the 54, gets you 36. So on the miter saw, it's gonna be a 36 degree cut, not a 54. However, it is an actual 54 degree angle uh, that we have here. You want to say hi, Channing? Daddy. Say hi. Hi, where's Mr. Paul? Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul didn't end up coming today to help. That's part of the reason why I'm doing this video here, because I'm showing people how to work solo. 